Hi there, welcome back. You know, every Monday in 2019, we're featuring a woman who is helping to make Western New York a better place in our City Shapers reports. And this week, Two on Your Side's Kelly Dudzik shows us how one woman's passion is helping to empower the refugee women of Buffalo. You can find this week's City Shaper on Niagara Street in an old butcher shop. Hello, my name is Dawn Hogue. I'm from East Aurora, New York and I am the director of Stitch Buffalo. Don Hogue started Stitch Buffalo five years ago as a small project to connect with the women in the neighborhoods surrounding Buff State where she teaches. She started out doing sewing workshops and Stitch Buffalo grew so fast, Don decided to turn it into a nonprofit. For someone who has her master's in textile design, fiber arts and education, Stitch Buffalo was a natural fit. I got to a point in my life where I really uh, needed to start to give back in different ways and I, I knew that this was a way I could help these women. Stitch Buffalo helps refugee women develop skills in the textile arts and supports women who already have the skills. They get supplies and learn how to make the products or come up with their own and sell them in the Niagara Street shop. 45 to 55 women participate. They also do commission work. We've done ornaments for wedding parties, um, companies. So um, trying to expand our skills beyond just retail. You can help by donating. There's a list on the website of materials they need. There are also volunteer opportunities as the workspace doubles as a community space for women who are new to the country. What's it like to ham hand somebody that check and for them to know that they are valued, people value their work, and that they can come here and earn a living with the skills that they have. It's, it's tear jerking, <laughs> really, almost every time, because every payout, there's always new women that are getting their first paycheck. Uh, first paycheck being in America, first paycheck maybe ever, and uh, they're so excited. It's, it's so empowering for them to be able to make their own money uh, with their own hands. And donated materials that aren't used by the women don't go to waste. They're part of Second Stitch, available for you to buy at deep discounts, and that money goes back to Stitch Buffalo. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.